What's up, Asia lovers? Welcome back to East Asian Soul Channel. Similar to our previous Yakuza video, today we will be focusing on Sun Yi Ong, which is one of the most popular and powerful triad societies in Hong Kong, and how Hong Kong police fought them off and beat them to the ground. Please relax and enjoy. The Chinese triads are an organized crime syndicate that have historical roots in China and have spread to various parts of the world, including Hong Kong. These criminal organizations are involved in a wide variety of illegal activities, including drug trafficking, extortion, money laundering, and various forms of organized crime. In Hong Kong, there have been several triad societies operating over the years, with some of the most prominent ones being Sun Yi Own, Wo Xing Wo, 14K, and Wo Hop 2. Sun Yi Own was founded in 1919 in Guangdong, China, and later expanded its operations to Hong Kong. It has a long and storied history, making it one of the oldest triad societies still in existence. Sun Yi Own has a hierarchical structure with various levels of membership. The highest ranking members hold leadership positions and oversee the organization's activities, while lower ranking members are involved in carrying out various criminal enterprises. They're involved in a wide range of criminal activities, including drug trafficking, extortion, money laundering, illegal gambling, and various forms of organized crime. They're known for their involvement in both local and international criminal networks. Over the years, Sun Yi Own has established a significant presence, not only in Hong Kong, but also in other parts of the world, including the United States, Canada, and Southeast Asia. Their reach and influence extend beyond Hong Kong's borders. Triad societies often have rivalries with other triads, and Sun Yi Own is no exception. They've had conflicts with other triad groups, including the 14K, which is one of their primary rivals. The precise origins and motivations behind the formation of Sun Yi Own Triad Society, like many other triad organizations, are shrouded in history and legend. There are several common factors that have historically contributed to the emergence of triads and similar secret societies in China. The number one reason is that triad societies often originated during periods of social and political upheaval in China. They were sometimes formed as secret societies to resist oppression and exploitation by those in power, including corrupt officials and foreign invaders. These organizations provided a sense of solidarity and protection for their members. Second is that triads were also formed to provide mutual assistance and support to their members. This could include financial assistance, protection from threats, and help in resolving disputes. In times when the rule of law was weak, belonging to a triad could offer a form of social and legal protection. Lastly, triads often form tight-knit communities, providing a sense of belonging and identity for members. These social bonds were particularly appealing in times of social instability, or when individuals faced discrimination or marginalization. Sun Yi Own have evolved significantly over time, and their activities have ranged from social and protective functions to organized crime. Today, many of them are involved in various forms of criminal activity, which often brings them into conflict with law enforcement agencies. Now, when it comes to their networking, Sun Yi Own often have extensive and complex networks that can span both local and international levels. These networks play a crucial role in their operations, allowing them to engage in a wide range of criminal activities and maintain their influence. They have local networks that operate within a specific region, such as a city or province. Sun Yi Own organization often have connections to other triads within the same country. These connections can provide access to resources, facilitate criminal activities across regions, and help coordinate efforts. In some cases, triads may also form alliances with other criminal organizations. The Sun Yi Own triad, like many other triad societies, typically has a hierarchical structure with several levels of membership. The exact structure and titles used may vary, but there are usually distinct ranks and roles within the organization. At the top of the hierarchy are the leaders or elders, 
These individuals hold the highest positions of authority within the triad and are responsible for making major decisions, overseeing the organization's activities, and resolving disputes. They're often referred to as dragon heads or incense masters. Below the leadership are office bearers, who hold positions of responsibility, such as a deputy or advisor to the leader. These individuals help in managing the triad's day-to-day -day operations and may have specialized roles in areas like finance, security, or enforcement. The next level is Red Poles, which are high-ranking members who have earned their positions through loyalty and accomplishments within the triad. They are responsible for enforcing discipline among lower-ranking members, collecting protection money, or extortion, and overseeing various criminal activities. After that, we have the Straw Sandals, who are senior members who have demonstrated their commitment and loyalty to the triad. They may oversee specific criminal enterprises or chapters within the organization. Then we have Uncles and Brothers. These are general members who have been initiated into the triad. They're expected to follow the orders of higher ranking members, participate in criminal activities, and provide support to the organization. Some may hold specialized roles within the triad's criminal enterprises. Lastly is the Associates, which are individuals who work with the triad but are not fully initiated members. They may collaborate with the triad on criminal activities, provide services, or offer financial support. Associates do not hold official titles or ranks within the triad. The secrecy and clandestine nature of Sun Yi Own make it challenging for outsiders to fully understand their internal workings. They often use coded language, symbols, and rituals to maintain their secrecy and hierarchy. Speaking of Sun Yi Own's rituals, let's begin with the initiation ceremony. It's one of the most significant rituals in triad societies. It's the process by which new members are formally inducted into the organization. The ceremony often involves various symbolic gestures, oaths of loyalty, and the sharing of blood, usually pricking a finger, as a symbol of brotherhood. Also, there are secret hand signs to communicate with each other discreetly. These signs are often intricate and can indicate a member's rank, allegiance, or role within the organization. In addition to that, triads often have tattoos that bear specific symbols and designs that represent their membership or rank within the organization. These tattoos are not only a sign of loyalty, but can also serve as identification among fellow triads. Triads use coded language or terminology to discuss their activities discreetly. These codes can make it challenging for outsiders, including law enforcement, to understand their conversations. Dragon and Snake The dragon and snake are significant symbols in triad culture. The dragon represents the triad leader or boss, while the snake represents its lower-ranking members. These symbols are often used in tattoos and other forms of triad insignia. Blood Oaths Some triad initiation ceremonies involve a blood oath, where new members make a pledge of loyalty and secrecy while sharing a symbolic meal or drink. Now, let's talk about some of the stories that happened in the past involving Sun Yi Yong. The 1992 Hong Kong Triad arson attack, often referred to as the Mong Kok arson, was a violent incident that took place on September 22, 1992, in the densely populated Mong Kok neighborhood of Kowloon, Hong Kong. The attack was a significant event in the ongoing violent rivalry between two powerful triad organizations. Sun Yi Own and the 14K Triad. On the night of the attack, a group of assailants affiliated with Sun Yi Own targeted a building associated with the 14K Triad. They used Molotov cocktails to set the building ablaze. The fire quickly spread and engulfed the structure, resulting in a tragic and devastating inferno. The building was used by the 14K Triad for various purposes, including gambling operations, drug dens, and other criminal activities. The attack was seen as an attempt by Sun Yi Own to weaken their rival Triad's operations and assert dominance in the criminal underworld. Tragically, the fire claimed the lives of multiple individuals, including both Triad members and innocent civilians who were in or near the building at the time of the attack. The incident shocked the community, 
and highlighted the extreme violence and ruthless tactics employed by these criminal organizations. In the aftermath of the arson attack, law enforcement authorities in Hong Kong intensified their efforts to combat organized crime and targeted both Sun Yi Own and the 14K Triad. The incident led to increased scrutiny of triad activities, further arrests, and efforts to dismantle these criminal organizations. This event serves as a somber reminder of the far-reaching consequences of organized crime and the need for ongoing efforts to address and mitigate its impact on communities and society as a whole. Another story is the 1999 Hong Kong Triad Raid, also known as Operation Lightning, which was a major anti-triad operation carried out by Hong Kong law enforcement agencies on September 3, 1999. The operation targeted multiple triad organizations, with a primary focus on Sun Yi Yong, one of the largest and most prominent triads in Hong Kong. The operation involved more than 2,500 police officers and personnel from various law enforcement agencies. Coordinated efforts were made to conduct simultaneous raids across different districts in Hong Kong. Raids were carried out on numerous locations associated with the Sun Yi Yong triad including entertainment venues, illegal gambling dens, drug trafficking hubs, and residents of suspected triad members. Over 600 individuals were arrested during the operation. The operation resulted in the arrest of several high-ranking members of the Sun Yi Yong triad, including key leaders and influential figures within the organization. These arrests significantly disrupted the leadership and operations of the triad law enforcement authorities seized a substantial amount of illegal items, including illegal drugs such as heroin and cocaine, firearms, cash, illegal gambling equipment, and other evidence related to criminal activities. The operation was widely publicized, emphasizing the government's determination to combat organized crime and demonstrating its commitment to maintaining law and order. It sent a strong message of deterrence to triad societies and criminal organizations operating in Hong Kong. The 1999 triad raid was part of a broader ongoing effort by Hong Kong authorities to combat organized crime and reduce the influence of triad organizations in the region. Subsequent operations continued to target triads and other criminal groups to maintain public safety and order. The 1999 Hong Kong Triad Raid showcased the government's commitment to addressing organized crime and its dedication to ensuring the safety and security of the community. It marked a significant milestone in law enforcement efforts against triads and served as a strong deterrent against criminal activities in Hong Kong. Another significant event involving Sun Yi Own is the 1993 Tsim Sha Tsui Massacre, which remains one of the most brutal and infamous acts attributed to the Triad organization. The massacre took place on August 2, 1993, at the Day and Night Hotel in Tsim Sha Tsui, a bustling area in Kowloon, Hong Kong. The Tsim Sha Tsui Massacre was a result of a violent turf war between two factions within Sun Yi Own. The dispute was over control of illegal gambling operations in the region. Armed assailants, allegedly from a rival faction within Sun Yi Yong, stormed the Day and Night Hotel. They targeted individuals associated with the opposing faction, brutally attacking and killing at least eight people and injuring many others. The Tsim Sha Sui massacre prompted a massive criminal investigation by Hong Kong law enforcement agencies. The police worked to identify the perpetrators, gather evidence, and bring those responsible to justice. Law enforcement authorities arrested multiple individuals believed to be involved in the massacre. Subsequently, legal proceedings were initiated against the suspects. This event shed light on the violent and deadly nature of triad turf wars, where rival factions within the same triad organization engage in brutal confrontations to gain control over criminal enterprises, territories, or operations. The Tsim Cha Sui Massacre stands as a grim reminder of the extreme violence associated with triad rivalries and criminal activities. It highlighted the urgent need for law enforcement in the community to address organized crime and ensure the safety and security of the residents of Hong Kong. I hope you guys had a fun experience with my channel and videos. Feel free to suggest topics for upcoming videos. Until next time!